and welcome to your gold market update for today the 30th of november 2022 mike smith senior analyst at gold markets let's have a look at what's coming across the news today and then we'll cover a couple of charts that have caught our eye of course overnight we had a weak session on wall street again only the dow closing slightly in positive territory the s p and nasdaq both down We've got big data over the next few days, and of course we've got that situation in China with COVID escalating. Although there was some news that helped markets a little bit in that there is a vaccination program being instigated for the elderly. We also saw 10-year Treasury yields rise, perhaps on the back of potential supply concerns because of this continuing COVID situation. But as I said, not a significant drop down. US futures are near neutral in early Asian action. Asian indices are cautious and generally following that week US lead, although we did see the ASX pop up a quarter of a percent from being 0.4% to the downside after weaker than expected inflation number came across the wires, which is obviously good news for stocks. European equity futures are suggesting a mixed open later. That may change obviously before this afternoon. US dollar index slightly higher, just above neutral in Asia, uh, rose yesterday on that treasury yield action and gold rose. Trading around 17.50, all held key support at year-to-date lows, as did copper. VIX dropped overnight despite the equity weakness and edged back down towards those three-month lows. Bitcoin, very little movement, still looks precarious. And of course, as well as the China COVID situation, we've already suggested we've got some big data coming out. As we said, the Australian CPI came in softer than expected. We've also seen some Chinese PMI data both in the manufacturing and services side. They both came in a little weak. Uh, later, we've got German jobs, Eurozone inflation, and then US preliminary GDP numbers, ADP jobs report, the Q on Q PCE, not as important as the year on year, which is out tomorrow, and then the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, speaking as well. Lots for the markets to digest, not only today, but over the next couple of days as well. It's quite a busy week. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX BLD, Boral Limited caught our eye. We're trading just beneath this 304 key level. Uh, we see significant upside on this. If we just take this out a bit, you can see there is a key level just ahead. I'm just going to bring this down to around about that level there, around about 330. So if we bring this up again, you can see that's the potential opportunity there. That mirrors the high hit at the back end of may and that could represent a 10 percent increase from where it is now so one worth certainly keeping an eye on but obviously be patient to see if we do get a breakout through this level we're going to look at the euro usd on the daily chart and you can see there we've tested the bottom end of this range at 103.35 on the daily chart if we just move up to a tighter time frame you can see there tested right throughout last night at the beginning of the asian session yesterday and the beginning of Asian session the day before you can see a little pickup in the price this morning of this euro USD and we're seeing a short-term gain of around about 40 points till we hit a pause at around about 1391 just below that 104 level that's an interesting one to keep an eye on and could be over the next couple of hours trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now